Think about those people that are close to you, that have been going through the up and downs in your life. Today I'm in uh, California visiting my daughter in Los Angeles, who is an influencer, and that kind of prompted me to do this quick video. Now I've done a version in Italian, and she was available, and she's super swamped right now, so she won't be able to uh, participate. But here's what I want to cover. You know, we're talking about influencers now. If you're looking at the actual classification, uh, they have a, a breakdown. So if you have a hundred to about 10,000 followers, you're considered a nano influencer. If you have 10,000 to 50,000, you're a micro influencer. From uh, a half a million to a million, you are a macro influencer. And my question is, what, what does it really mean? Because as you're watching some of those videos, it's insane. You're seeing young kids doing stupid things, you know, loaded up on YouTube and even TikTok, you know, things like this. This is a puppet from Team America. Either that or plastic surgeons are using cement now. I mean, what else could it be? And what is with these people staring at the camera? They're not even natural movements. Look, I get it. You guys need attention. But maybe it's best to just go back to staring at the camera without moving. Yeah, we're so influenced right now. I love how he looks around to see if anyone saw him. Don't worry, pal. The neighborhood was so influenced by your convulsions, everyone threw on a pair of gloves and started throwing paint at their clothes and installed a ski rack on their car so they could be cool just like you. Well, this is the world we live in now, folks. The look at me generation, where everyone finds a way to make everything about themselves and make sure you see it. What a legacy to leave behind. They have zero content, and yet they have millions of views. And you're wondering, is this how far we have degenerated? Because when you think of influencer, at least I think of influencer, I go back in history and I look at big figures. Like, obviously for me, number one is Jesus Christ. But then you're looking at Confucius, uh, Mohammed, Newton, Einstein, or Martin Luther King, even the negative side, right? Hitler and, and Marx. So the, my first question is, who influenced you the most? And probably you're going to be looking at people that actually were very close to you during your formative years, whether it was a teacher or your parents or maybe even some peers. Now, a little bit more remote could have been a sport figure or, or an entertainer. But those are people that have left a mark in your life. Now, I'm proud of our daughters because she is beyond the micro. She has about 60,000 followers, but beyond that, she has been successful in launching her own brand of bathing suit, True Tone Swimwear. And these are some of the uh, pictures of her product line. Now, what's good about it is she started with an idea. She said, I want to have a fabric that uh, is tan through and start marketing that particular product. And she's doing extremely well, so I'm very, very proud of her. So she kind of has her own influence with actually a product. So she's bringing added value to the table. But what are some of these people that have this concept of entitlement? They might have even only a thousand followers or even less because Isabella was telling us that some of the people are actually contacting her saying, oh, hey, I'm an influencer, I want free product. They might have 100 or 200 followers, right? So what makes it so entitled in saying, I deserve this and that? And I think it's a sign of the time. You know, we're in a society right now that is devoid of content that is healthy. And it seems like everybody's entitled to things without producing anything. And when I think of a good influencer, I think about somebody that truly has strong followers. Why? Because he has impacted them in a profound way. Think about those people that are close to you, that have been going through the up and downs in your life. They were available. They were available to talk. They were available to give you a hand whenever you were in need. Those to me are the true influencer. And you don't need to have thousands of followers. I mean, you could be influencing just the two, three, four, five people that are around you. And it reminds me of a great scripture when Paul used to say, be imitators of me. Now, Paul is not saying do everything that I do, period. He's saying be imitators of me as I am of Christ. So the question is, what do we have within us that reflects 
the person of Jesus Christ to the point that we want to reproduce or duplicate in the life of others. Because that, my friend, is the only thing that in my mind is worth actually reproducing. Food for thoughts for today. Again, what are you actually reproducing in your life that is impacting the life of others around you? Guys, thanks again for listening and I will catch you next week. Ciao.